Only from not knowing can something totally new emerge, not from old ground of knowing. I am Nitu from Bangalore. We are going crazy staying at home without our work, our travel, our meeting our friends to occupy ourselves. We are actually mentally feeling sick. Can you please help us? Pranams. This is maddening, this is boring, this is painful, this is like a punishment. How can this period of seclusion, how can this period of solitude be a punishment? Look at every religion, whether it is the Buddha, the Christ, the sages of India, all chose seclusion. They chose seclusion deliberately at the most crucial periods of their life. Look at every great inventor, technology giants like Bill Gates or Steve Jobs. They deliberately moved away from the humdrum of everyday meeting, everyday travel and everyday activity. Everyday life moves according to the clock, isn't it? Not waiting for anyone else. It is relentless. It is mechanical. These geniuses deliberately gave a periodic break to everyday mechanics and moved into seclusion for a radical change in circumstances. Today, nature has blessed you with such a break. Like the ancients say, Langanam Parama Aushadam, which means fasting is the ultimate cure, you are abstaining from everyday crazy running right now. This period of seclusion can be a time for great creativity in your life. It can be a wonderful time for healing the hearts of your loved ones and to find true connection. It can be a time to rethink the meaning of your life, to think about what truly matters in life and to move away from all the non-essentials. Neurologically, your brain has gone through the same repeated experiences it is the same experience of waking up at the same time, hurrying the same way, rushing through the breakfast the same way, running to work the same way. It has been a very predictable life. Other than some repeated predictable breaks during the weekend, it will be the same friend, same party, and probably the same movie time. In this seclusion, your brain has hit a point of not knowing. It has hit a point of unpredictability. This is not a curse. This is an immense opportunity. Only from not knowing can something totally new emerge, not from old ground of knowing. This is a time for you to know yourself, to reinvent yourself. This time of seclusion and solitude can be an immeasurable blessing to rise to true greatness. Please utilize it.